सुप्रभात बच्चों गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू हिंदी क्लास इन टूडेज हिंदी क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टू मोर एल्फाबेट्स यू नो दैट वी आर डूइंग हिंदी एल्फाबेट्स और हिंदी कॉन्सनेट्स ओके सो हिंदी कॉन्सनेट्स आर फ्रॉम क टू ह एंड दे आर कॉल्ड व्यंजन इन हिंदी ओके सो इन क टू ह we are in the fifth line today we will be doing fifth line but let me revise all these letters which we have already completed so listen carefully children first line is k kh g gh ang second line ch ch j j i ya in the third line you have to touch your tongue on the top and say t th d dh n then fourth line you have to touch your tongue with the teeth and say t th d dh n and now today we are in the fifth line we will be doing two letters today they are p how are we going to pronounce it you have to touch both the lips and say p and the next letter ph okay p and ph let us see these two letters how to write okay so to write this letter you have to start from left side uh, you have to write u actually so first you write like u this is your u and then from there itself you draw another straight line and then cover it on the top you all know that we are supposed to cover the hindi letters i'm going to write once again see here write u and then come down with a standing line and then you have to cover it on the top this is your letter p okay p now let's see what are the pictures which start with this letter p right so the from letter p we have the first picture as p se patang this is your patang patang means kite you can see three colorful kites here now the next picture is p se papita papita means papaya you must have eat in this fruit okay next we have perse pari pari means angel okay so let me revise these words once again perse patang see the first letter perse patang patang means kite perse papita papita means papaya and then perse pari pari means angel okay now let us move to the next letter that is ph now how to write this letter ph let us see to write this letter ph let me clear this it is almost similar to the first letter p so we will start with the same letter and then we will add something to it see carefully you write letter p u and a straight line cover it on the top let me clear this i'm going to write once again clearly p cover it the standing line and then cover it on the top and then from here where this u turn and the straight line is meeting from here you have to pull another tail something like this which will be like an ulta u an opposite direction u upside down u okay so this is your letter h i'm going to write once again start with the letter p then cover it on the top this is your letter p from here where this u and the standing line is meeting you have to pull a tail like this 
Okay, this is your letter H. Let us see what are the pictures which start with this letter. So, first say we have the first picture as Phal. H say Phal. Phal means fruits. You know, there are many fruits, children. You must be eating grapes pineapple, apple, oranges, all these fruits you eat. So you call them fruits. But in Hindi, what should we call them? We should call them phal. Her say phal. Phal means any fruit. Okay. Now, next is her say phawara. Phawara means fountain. Sometimes when you go outside in a park or sometimes in mall as well, they uh, keep a fountain outside. Okay. Uh, it looks nice and it is good also to keep a fountain. So, this fountain where you can see the water comes from inside and it goes out and it flows in different direction. So, that is pavara. The English word is fountain. Okay. Per se, pavara means fountain. The next picture is her se. Hali. Hali means any uh, green vegetables which you see like uh, beans or something like that. Those uh, fruit part but not fruit. They are the vegetables. They are called pali which, which are long in shape like this. Okay. So let us revise these words again. Ha se phal. Phal means fruits. Ha se pavara. Pavara means fountain and her say phali. Phali means green vegetables, those long vegetables. Okay. Now let us move to the poem part. So I'm going to read a small poem based on your letter P and here we are going to talk about Patang. So you can see the picture of Patang here. What are Patang? Patang means sky. Let us see. Listen carefully. Pa se patang hamari hoti. Rang birangi pyari hoti. Hare pile lal hai rang. Urti sada dor ke sang. So what does it mean? Pa se patang hoti hamari. So you can see if this is our kite, the patang word starts with which letter? Pa. The beginning letter is pa. Pa se hoti hai patang. और इसके जो कलर्स होते हैं हाउ आर द कलर्स वो रंग बिरंगी प्यारी होती एंड दे लुक वेरी क्यूट वेरी नाइस एंड दे आर वेरी कलरफुल दैट्स व्हाई दे लुक नाइस और ब्यूटीफुल राइट दे कम इन डिफरेंट कलर्स हरे पीले ग्रीन येलो रेड ऑल दीस कलर्स एनी कलर कैन इज इट इज पॉसिबल और समटाइम्स इन वन काइट दे पुट मेनी कलर्स लाइक हियर यू कैन सी this kite is white and blue. Here we have pink and white and brown. Any color we, uh, we can have a combination of colors. Okay. Urti sada door ke sang. So you know when we fly kites, we need to have a thread tied with this uh, kite. So with the help of those uh, string or uh, thread, they fly in the air. So urti sada, urna means to fly. Urti sada door ke sang. Door means thread. It flies with the help of thread. Okay. So this is the meaning. We have discussed about uh, the kites, how they fly and what are the colors of kite. Let us move to the next letter. Per, per se, we are going to discuss a poem. So listen carefully, children. Per se hote hai phal. खट्टे मीठे होते फल कई तरह के होते फल सबको अच्छे लगते फल वट डज इट मीन फे होते फल यू कैन सी दिस दीज आर द फ्रूट्स एंड फे इट स्टार्ट विथ विच लेटर हे फल खट्टे मीठे सो यू नो द टेस्ट ऑफ दीज फ्रूट्स आर डिफरेंट दे आर नॉट सेम मीन्स ऑल द फ्रूट्स आर नॉट स्वीट एंड ऑल द फ्रूट्स आर नॉट सार राइट यू विल गेट डिफरेंट टेस्ट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट फ्रूट्स राइट 
so khatte meethe some of the fruits are sour for example the oranges and uh, sometimes mangoes are also sour meethe like the uh, sweet like apple and uh, watermelon all these fruits are sweet kai tarah ke hote phal kai tarah means there are many types of fruits there are there are uncountable we don't know how many fruits are there some people eat like uh, some fru few fruits some people don't like those fruits so whatever they like they eat but fruits are actually very good for health sabko acche lagte phal we all like fruits for so whatever fruits we like or whatever is available in the market or uh, in that season we buy those fruits and we eat okay children so this is the meaning of this small form phalte hote phal and you know phal or fruits are very good for health we should regularly have these fruits whatever is available in that season we call them seasonal fruits okay so children if you like my video please like it subscribe it and share with your friends i will be very very thankful to you thank you